Hello world. That's what I said in my first YouTube video. I was reaching out to the world. That's all the humans, I guess, that speak English. I even apologised for it being in English that uh, I don't put translationed, translated versions or subtitled versions for people of other languages. I guess I can't be bothered. That's don't take that personally if you don't speak English but then you wouldn't be able to hear me anyway crazy isn't it you know sit there thinking contact to the whole world but I haven't I've only got contact to the English speaking world So, what's it all about? Can you really comprehend seven billion people? Seven billion! That's a lot. So I'll just uh, interject here that um, I haven't made a video for a while and I've kind of been meaning to but kept really missing the main point of what I wanted to talk about and um, just got this video camera that my friend gave me working, well, connecting to my computer so I thought I'll make a video But I haven't got a clue what to talk about. I thought something would come to mind. But when you're staring at a blank, round eye, you don't really get much response. Now, if I was to imagine that eye could potentially be someone out there looking for answers just like I do when I'm browsing YouTube trying out a new video what's this person like? do they know something? I've certainly learnt a heck of a lot YouTube has been really good and I've enjoyed sharing my things at least if you know not someone watches it all at least it's sort of like a record like a video diary we are now 1st of July 2014 and I am glad to be alive in this time I have this feeling that, you know, we've been waiting a long time for, for these days to come. I really do have that feeling that we're in them. And the feeling is, at last, this time has come. And I think the time that has come is when the world, the way it's gone, the path that we've trodden, which is
nations We were tribes from whenever I was born as a kid. I knew I was from England as I called it and I went to visit my Norwegian family and my cousin who was quite a lot older than me had poster on the wall with all the flags and there I recognised the Union Jack and I asked him what it said and he said Stor Britannia Great Britain and I got a sense that I was from a great country <laughs> and he also seemed to have that sense that I was from a great country great country with a great history controlled two-thirds of the world that's an empire and everyone wants to be the leader everyone wants to be in the empire the leading empire and empires have changed through history. So, as I was saying, the days we've come to are the days when the earth can take no more of the human race the way it's going Mother Earth is hitting back and the way our societies become so jet stream, so streamlined so efficient but that basically means it's hanging on a thread that um, when that thread breaks it's broke and I think thanks to YouTube there'll be enough people who are a bit clued up and have had some time to see this coming to hold us, you know, to get us through. There'll be a period of chaos. There'll be a period of chaos. And I think the best thing to do at that point probably keep a low profile <laughs> I don't know we'll have to wait and see play it by ear however it happens in your local area wherever you are at the time when that thread breaks and the, and the the panic sets in and you hear the panic setting in then just sit tight anyway 
I don't want to talk about that. What I wanted to talk about is the way, the state, the world we are now. Just as a... I mean, it's crazy. Just so money orientated. From from an early age. Get your kids into the decent school. As we've learnt that's probably the single best thing you can do if you want your child to um do well in life, as they say, which usually means landing a well-paid job, and you uh, work you know, quite hard, probably long hours, the more better the job, the more enjoyable those hours will be. And you dedicate your life to this job and save up money for a pension and pay for your kids to go to a decent school to keep it going and then you die and most people are not mentally prepared for that And as that is the only sure thing in life, well, you should be mentally prepared for it. You should think about it. And if it scares you, you need to think about it even more. Because if it scares you, it probably means you're not really that fulfilled with what you've done in life or with what you're doing. So they say keep it real. What's real? The things you feel are real. Sensations. Emotion. Love. We're departing from those things in this world because we're being deceived. We are just cattle to those who have all the power. Whether they need us or not, I don't know. Yes, the earth is going to rock and roll and kick back. Maybe it's just because, or not just because, maybe it's because of a, something going on in the solar system. So we're told it affects the other planets, which I don't know firsthand, but I guess I do accept and see that the sun is acting strange. So that would be some good timing if that was the case. It seemed like everything's coming to a head, perhaps because they know it anyway. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good video or not. Probably can't even hear me talking so quiet. I don't know why, I just want to stay with the video camera. <laughs> I think it's my ego, definitely. I think I think I'm cool or something. Or I might just play a little song. I don't know what.
smart, not being clever. I said you're walking in iniquity to achieve vanity. Cut you down. Cut you down. Cut you down.